Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today, we are going to do my one month ahead savings challenge. If you're new here, my name is Rosa. My channel is all about my personal budgeting journey. It is about savings challenges. It is about sinking funds. It is also about cash envelopes and just where I stash my money, how I stash my money, how I save my money. If any of that is of interest to you and you have not already, please take a second, push subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little more of your time with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And everyone, take a second, smash that thumbs up button for me. All right, so I have decided to do Savings Challenge Day a little bit different. Um, I have gotten a lot of questions about my One Month Ahead Challenge. I feel like my One Month Ahead Challenge makes my Savings Challenge Day video a little long, and I kind of cut things out of that, or it's an extra long video. So I decided to pull it out of Savings Challenge Day, but this is still a Savings Challenge Day for me. I have decided to work on getting ahead on 15 different things. And this is my one month. So my mortgage, um, I'd like some extra cash, some groceries, the electric, car insurance, dining out, car payment, gas, phone payment, student loan, RV, internet, family birthdays, dental insurance, and lunch. And that lunch is for my child's school lunch. And all of these combined together are roughly $5,000. And just, I wanted to find a way that made saving for one month ahead fun for me. I do that by doing it in rounds. So first thing I did was I figured out how much I wanted to save, how much I needed for each of these. I then took that number and divided by how many little houses or caches or icons, whatever is on each one, and divided that up and came to realize that's how much I would need for one of those icons on whatever it was. So for example, the mortgage, we wanted $1,200. There are 32 little houses on here. So 1,200 divided by 32 is $38. So what I know when I have $38 in this envelope, I get to shade in one house. And I've done that for all of these categories. I've decided to save for this in a rather unique way. I love the debt snowball debt avalanche i just love those processes it allows me to see gains so that's what i'm doing i'm using the debt snowball method if you don't know what the debt snowball method is it's where everybody gets their minimum payment and then whatever the lowest one is is who gets the extra money so you try to round up some extra cash and pay that small one off well i'm doing this as a savings snowball and I'm doing it the same way as you would a debt snowball <clears throat> so I have 15 envelopes which means $15 if I can hopefully I can squeeze out another five dollars here another ten dollars there I do just that so that my smallest one can get filled up a little faster well, if you've been around for a while, you know I haven't quite posted a video in a while, and well, Rosa's like really, really behind. I have more than $15 here. I actually have two sets of $15 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's one month, or there's one of mine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So really I am two stuffings behind. And then this was just extra money that I had. So that's 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I had an extra $10. And I try really hard. I take $15 from every one of my checks and $5 from my honey's check. So I almost always have a little bit extra. I try really hard to do $20 so that I can fill these up a little faster. But I needed small goals to be able to progress towards this. Since I know that I have missed a week, I'm actually going to put $2 into everybody because, well, they should have already gotten it anyways. So instead of just doing a dollar, we're going to put two into everything. There are some of these that, so I have three icons shaded on this one. Those three icons says that I have filled this up with $29 three times. Um, you'll notice that there are three on a lot of these and that's because I have completed three full rounds. So now we are in the process of working on round four. Getting closer. One round is roughly 200 and something dollars for me to take to the bank and yes that's a small drop in a $5,000 
chunk, but the reality is it's moving, it's growing, it's doing something. So just trying to stay on top of it. And when I miss a pay period, it's okay. Um, I don't fret, I don't just still do my $1. Instead, I pay it how it's supposed to. So what, we still have three here. Oh, and we just fill them up and away we go until everybody's gotten their $1 payment, but because we're a behind, a month behind, basically we're doing $2 payments and everybody gets it. And as you can tell, there's already cash in here. So I know I've already started the process. Right. Um, there are some things in here like the RV. We sold the RV almost a year ago. Wow, it's been that long. Um, but I still keep it in here because it's going to help me save $5,000. So hmm, whatever. All right. Getting close. Oh, and then here it finally happened. I get to family birthdays and it has four icons. And what that tells me is that unlike the internet, which only has three shaded in, I have finished four rounds. So I know I've already taken the first three out. So I've already taken <coughs> excuse me I've already taken that first set of money to the bank and now that fourth icon tells me I know there's already six dollars in here and if I whip it out and count it all out I've got my six dollars well, because I have ordered these from greatest to least I know that family birthday is done I know that Cobra which is dental insurance is done it has four so there's five dollars in it and I know that lunch is done because it has three of them shaded or four of them shaded as well the three across the top and the one in the middle so I know these three have fully funded for this round. And this is how the debt snowball works, but I'm calling it saving snowball. So now all of that extra money, well, hold on, two, four, six. This $6 is what should have gone into here, but it is not. That $6 is now headed where? To my next lowest. So I'm gonna be real, I had six extra dollars. This said seven, I have to be sitting on top of it. So we will just kind of piece it all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What, and I still have four extra dollars left over. Go me! Means that we get to shade these in. And what this does is it begins to get faster and faster on how quickly I can shade one in. And when I shade one in, it makes me excited. Why? Because I know that means I am one envelope closer to being done. So the next time I do this, I will have four extra dollars. Yay! All right, so we're gonna take that four. We're gonna need eight all together. Let's cross our fingers and hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. We get to shade in another RV, yay! That tells me I now have five of these that need to get done. All right, I'm not much of a colorer, not a, huge fan. Oh, there we go. We'll do a bunny, a Christmas van. Christmas RV. Yep. We need some tires. Do I have a black? Nope, but I got a brown. That'll do for me. And the roof rack. We'll make the roof rack red because we're doing Christmas shades there. Why? I have absolutely no idea because that's what sounded good. So now, yay, I have five of these done. And that's if I had only done my two payments. But I have extra money. I have $10 extra because I was able to put an extra five from both of my honey's checks that I have missed. So we're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep stuffing guys. So student loan needs 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, and we have $2 left over. Oh, today is a great day. All right, we're gonna do a green or an, uh, orange cap and gown. The last time we did green, that's why my brain thought that. All right. And of course I want a yellow tassel because, well, I just do. Oops, wrong spot. Put you there. How to put my $12 in here. Gosh, I love when it goes this fast. So again, now the next time I pull all of these out, I know that these six are done. So that's $6 that's going towards everything else. And the next one is the phone, and I know there's not 12 in here, so there is four, five, and six, so we're halfway there, and reality is these six will finish this off, so next time I know for certain, phone will be done. Yay! And that, again, is that snowball method, how it just begins to get faster and faster and faster, and although these values do increase, 
They range from $38 all the way down to $4. Though these values do increase, <clears throat> I'm putting more and more into each one to that next smallest one, that next smallest one, that next smallest one, and it just exponentially gets faster. And I absolutely love this way of saving for my one month ahead. If you have any questions, please drop it in chat below. And I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.